Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today I'll discuss a very common topic that is time management. What is time? Time is basically, you know, it is period between two events or a precise instant determined by the clock, watch or the calendar. So what is time management? Time management is basically you know, a set of principles or, or a practice or a skill or a tool or a system that work together to help to get more out of the available work and finally improve the quality of life. So if you take this, you know, the, what is time management, one important point is like maximum you know, output from the available time and make your life the quality of your life better. Now, let's say that take time to work. It is the price of success. So we should not waste time. You know, we must know that well, how we are utilizing our time. That's very uh, important actually. You say that, you know, take time to think because it is the source of power. So whenever we are, we must count our time actually, like what we are doing with our time actually. Whether it is not wasting or it is for, uh, you know, utilizing actually, like we should play like so that we can get uh, energy, etc. We should uh, spend time for reading books because our, you know, knowledge, etc. will come when we uh, spend time on, you know, reading and all these things. Spending time with the family is very important to be a healthy uh, a person actually in all respects. And also, you know, we should spend our time for serving the society. It's not always that we should work, uh, go office and you know, return home because we, we are uh, living in a society. So we must invest our time for the society also. And most importantly, take time to laugh and smile. Do you uh, count your like in 24 hours how many minutes you smile is very important actually. There is a special subject for that. Now, some people think that those who are successful, they are managing their time well. It's not like that. Being successful doesn't you know, make you manage your time well actually. Managing your time well will make you successful. In time management, there are, you know, some myth actually. Some people have some different, you know, uh, concept. Like some, uh, some people say that my job profile is different, you know. It's different schedule. There is no fixed schedule. So time management doesn't work actually for uh, my type of job actually. They don't believe actually. And, uh, you know, this no one can else do what I can do. Some people say actually. This is also wrong actually because uh, you know for any, any work actually people, people can be replaced any time in any organization at any level. And time management doesn't work for big projects. Some people say, you know, we have a big project in the green field, so there are a lot of weather conditions and a rainy season, so we cannot manage. This, these are the things you are sitting in the office, you can manage this type of time management and all these things. So these are the misunderstanding of the people actually. Time management can be applicable for 100% uh, for, for any type of job and every type of job actually. Now in time management there are some objective. What is the awareness or attitude towards time? That's very important. Like time management learning is your attitude towards time is very important. You know, plan time by setting your priority. We must you know, set our uh, priority. And we also must be able to identify our own self that what are the symptoms of a poor time manager. So that, that symptoms are there in me or not. So we must know it. There is a matrix in time management, very simple matrix. It is called, there are four quadrant system. One is called high important, one is low important, the horizontal axis. One is high urgency, one is low urgency. So we must do the first work which is highly important and highly urgent. So it comes in the first quadrant and but all urgent work is not important but we need to do it first and all important work are also not urgent. 
so we must understand that basic you know this uh, matrix of time management urgency and importance and in workplace normally there are two uh, issues actually uh, people uh, is with uh, everybody actually like some uh, you know more task is given to me with respect to the time and people are taking you know too much time for corresponding and a lot of meetings are there actually so these meetings are you know they're wasting time so this is the actually complain with uh, you know if you if you freely discuss I'm officially discuss with many people everybody says we are wasting a lot of time in meeting but still everybody is doing the meeting actually this is very funny in, in all organization everybody knows say that we are wasting time by doing meeting but still every day they are doing the meeting in some organization I have seen those who are practicing Japanese concept that is meeting on the shop floor which is the call is uh, Gemba so you know it's not this, uh, very comfortable meeting uh, sitting in a uh, air conditioned room so people uh, you know tea coffees are coming so people are spending time you know so it's not like that you are standing meeting is 100% standing and total duration of the meeting may be 15 minutes so there are ways actually so th these are the this type of meetings are very effective it is in many all over even rusty uh, and I have been in uh, one of my previous companies they are also practicing this type of meeting which is uh, very uh, effective actually now there is some symptom in time management like if you are a poor time manager so lack of achievement is one in every time you are uh, failing the deadline that is also one of the symptoms that you are a bad manager of the time and high proportion of the time is uh, you know, spent on socializing at the work uh, like this is uh, excessive amount of time on telephone like there are people actually you know and hours by hours and one call they are taking 15 minutes 10 minutes longer they actually they don't have enough basic understanding about the telephone call or the mobile phone call call should not go longer than one minute or two minutes if the call is such that it needs 15 or 20 minutes you should call the person for a person uh, no. first to this meeting why should uh, over phone it's not needed actually so uh, this is actually uh, some symptoms of the uh, no, uh, poor time manager. And sometimes another uh, thing is like inability to say no assertively. In some case, some people I know, they you know never uh, able to say no when some work. Even they are leaving office at 5:30. Some uh, new work is given to them, and which needs to complete maybe three hours, four hours. They can't say actually no. They work for the 9, 9 30 10 then they go to home so this is actually not the right practice in a professional organization there are ways actually but it, you cannot in a when you are uh, working in an organization you are also you don't have a right to say also no directly so there are ways to you know there are uh, techniques there are uh, uh, no, the ways to say assertively like uh, you know it's an uh, it's you will not say no, but it, it will mean actually. So uh, you will obviously do this uh, work tomorrow actually. So the, the, these are the things actually we need to uh, know. And in time management, one uh, important thing is, instead of doing the work, you just think and plan for the work. That's pretty important. You invest planning for five minutes, you will be saving you know, 30 minutes in uh, 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 the completion of the work. Now, there are some obstacles in uh, time management, as I already said, the inability to say no. In some cases, you know, objective is not uh, clear to the uh, person. So, and some interruptions like telephone calls and some other calls and many other issues are coming. And, uh, you know, there, the, but there are, uh, you must identify that whether there is any ineffective, like ineffectivity period of your time. You can see this picture, the person is waiting under the tree when leaves will fall and you will sweep. So this type of similar situation should not come in in your workplace. You must identify that. So th these are the things. And, and some cases, some people feel that they are very, you know, expert actually. They are multi-skilled. They are writing something at the same time. They are, you know, talking and they, they don't know actually what inside the, uh, the capacity of brain, brain, how many things can work together actually. They, they, they don't know the basic science. You can like uh, specifically the male cannot do a multitask by the brain construction like that. So you should better if you want to be a very efficient person. You at this one time you should work only one work. 
not more than one word. And, and many people actually, you know, very busy from the morning to end, uh, you know, evening, but still they, every day they don't complete their work. They are always busy, you know. They don't have time to talk with other people, hi, hello, and all this, how are you? Actually, these people are, you know, delegation of work, that skill is not there. They can't, you know, they know that my job is very difficult job, only I can do it. So there are no, you know, subordinate who can handle this. So these are the another, you know, uh, misconcept of the people who work. Still they are working actually. Now, I'll share some of my personal experience. I uh, I've been uh, working in Germany for a few years in 2006-7 where the time how the German people they you know, you know I used to go to office by bus you can see the picture now in the bus the highest a bus give a scoreboard on the bus stand highest many uh, you know, late of the bus was like 32 seconds in last month one minute ten seconds so they are so precise actually about their time actually every second sir count in germany like people if our office time was eight so nobody will not you will find that eight by eight five um hundred percent people will be there in the office so uh you know every actually whatever the innovation is uh, doing today uh so it's only seven time like the, you know railways like in india railways work you know uh, 120 kilometer in different european countries like in euro Rails, you'll find that 250 in China, Beijing, you'll find 400 kilometer, and like you'll find this uh, airplanes, some uh, smaller uh, going in 500 kilometers, some 800 kilometers, some thousand kilometer. So what is for that? All this innovation is basically to save the time because time is the only thing you cannot buy. It is a it, it will uh, automatically it will flow. You can hold it. So rather, we should invent such a way so that we can manage our time. So. Great time management is one of the most important skills of a person can develop and it takes practice effectively to manage your you know, time. So find this presentation is informative or interesting. You can share this uh, video with your friends. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your attention and time.